Howdy, I'm B, and today I want to show you my favorite way of teaching a dog not to pull your goddamn arm out of the socket when you're walking on the leash. So, very, 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 very first fucking thing, if you missed this, rewind. Walks are good for dogs' minds, not just their bodies. In the great outdoors, dogs can sniff and smell strange and wonderful things, check their pee mail, meet a nice bitch, settle down with puppies, who knows? Using their brain doing all that sniffing can really wear them out too, so you might be surprised at how tired your dog gets if they get to do a lot of sniffing. So, my next point. The big problem with trying to loose leash walk a dog is there's pretty much always better shit going on. Oh, there's pee over here. Ooh, there's poo over here. Ooh, a buddy was over here. Oh my god, so many exciting things. That, that's what I assume is going on in my dog's head. I don't know. Once again, don't speak dog. So anyways, all those exciting things going on. So a lot of dogs pull. Even if they're wearing like a choke chain or a prong collar, it's totally worth it to them. That pain, eh. But this smell, so if you do go like the positive reinforcement route and you're shoveling treats into their face constantly, you fuck up for half a second, that dog's gone because there's better shit going on. So yeah, the reason I like this technique is because it starts off with pretty much damn near constant reinforcement. So it's really hard to fuck up. Step one, acquire yourself one of these tube doohickeys. I bought mine at a local camping store. If you Google camping squeeze tube, it's like the first thing after you scroll past all the porn. And if you don't, you know, want to buy one of those or whatever, you can use a plastic baggie and just cut the corner off. Just like, you know, if you're icing a fucking cake and you're like, happy fucking birthday, Steve. Step two. Fill it with peanut butter. You can also use stuff like cottage cheese, cream cheese, yogurt, you can mix it all together, uh, whatever, if it's dog friendly and rather liquid. Um, this part's definitely a little messy, and uh, I find it easier if you melt the peanut butter in a pan um, over low heat, because I found out it's really easy to burn peanut butter. Fun fact. And so, yeah, just get that shit in there. And then if you have a tiny dog, you can take a spoon and just get some peanut butter on the end of it. And voila, you have a longer hand. So you can just hold it down and the dog can lick. And that way you're not bending over like this the whole time trying to walk your dog. Three stairs. I mean, um, step three. Acquire a dog. If you don't have one already, why the fuck are you watching this video? Go get one right now. I said now. Step four. Leash up your dog. It's always better to practice in an environment where your dog can kick ass and succeed. We tried this scene outside and he wasn't really interested in the peanut butter. The environment was more exciting than the peanut butter. So we came back inside to show you how to do it. Step five. Create too many steps. Step six, stick out the tube for the dog to lick. As this bitch be licking, you best be walking. Step seven, same damn thing. Just walk and have the tube out for him to lick. The tube's better for, than anything else going on right now. So he is staying with me, the leash is loose, and he's getting constantly reinforced. If he went away, he couldn't lick. Step eight. As you're walking, take away the peanut butter for a split second and immediately bring it back down. They shouldn't have run away with your arm just yet. When you start off, the dog's going to have peanut butter 100% of the time. But as you go, you can add in another step, or even two, between reinforcement. And if they get a good glove, you can add in even more time between reinforcement. You start off with 100, but then you can go to 90% of the time they have peanut butter, then 80% of the time they have peanut butter. The key is to do it randomly so your dog never quite knows, you know, is he going to walk 5 steps or 100 steps before he's going to get peanut butter. You don't start off with 100, you start off with 1, and then maybe 3, 
maybe two. Step nine. Well, your dog gets really good at this and doesn't need a lot of peanut butter anymore. You can start bringing treats and start mixing up between the tube or the treats. And then, because sometimes this is more bulky and annoying to carry around than just sticking a couple treats in your pocket. So mix it up and you can totally switch to just using your regular little treats if your dog likes them enough. If you're in a really distracting environment, like say you're walking your buddy James Earl Bones past some fun ass bitches, go ahead and bring that tube of peanut butter back down just, just to be sure, just in case someone doesn't pull to go see them fun ass bitches. Work your way to more distracting environments by practicing. Walk past those fine ass bitches a couple times. Give your buddy a little bit less and less peanut butter each time. Or give them the same amount of peanut butter. Set them up for success. And if those bitches give you the side eye, fuck them. You deserve a bitch who appreciates self-control. So you can absolutely skip some of these steps. You can also add in more steps. Do what works for you and your dog. Every dog can be successful when you break it into steps as small as my ex-boyfriend's stick. But not every dog is successful learning in leaps and bounds. So, you know, you gotta do what works for you. You can never break it into steps too small. And so, you know, if you wanna try leaps and bounds, you know, and you've figured out how to speak dog, ask your dog what level he wants to work at, and then fucking call me because holy shit, I wanna speak dog. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Have fun. I hope this method is as much fun for you and your dog as it is for me, because to be perfectly honest, I fucking hate loose leash training. It is so incredibly frustrating, and I love this method. It's worked wonderful for me. The dogs love it, because, you know, and then that peanut butter, and it doesn't involve punishment. So, you know what? Enjoy. Catch me later.